I'm saying like minus oh. I'm saying like two point eight. I thought the uh, first half we played, uh, you know, played as well as you know we'd like to play. We played very well on the defensive end and uh, offensively. We got the ball to Rock, and he was real good inside. Uh, we handled their pressure well. We had four turnovers. The second half, we just we got complacent. We made some bad turnovers, and uh, you know that's what you're worried about when you play a team that's pressuring you like that. And, we just made some really bad uh, turnovers and got them going. Uh, but, you know, when, when they came back, then when we had to, we made a couple good stops and uh, made a couple good plays. Chris and Rock were good inside, and, you know, we did what we needed to do. Uh, questions? Just give a status update on Tyler, Jeff. Give a status update on Tyler. His strained muscles. He practiced for a few minutes the other day and was good. And then he, after 30, 40 minutes, it was, he was hurt. It was hurting. Just a strain. That's all it is. Nothing, nothing serious. So you don't know in terms of the next day you feel the battle failed or? No, I mean I don't. He couldn't play today, so I have no idea. Can you talk about your level of concern about the burner game. You know, it, it is what it is. We're just going to play, and it doesn't matter whether I'm concerned or not. My concern doesn't matter. It's not going to change anything. We just got to keep playing. If we're not shooting well, we have to get to the basket and make other things happen. Do you see progress from Caleb tonight, or do you just think it was a similar performance? Mm -hmm. From Caleb tonight, do you see any progress from him, or do you think it was similar? He did some good things. He did some good things. It's, it's, he's just got to keep working at it. Just got to keep working. Has any aspect of uh, McCullough's game surprised you at all? How advanced it is? You know, we thought prior to the season we weren't sure of the shooting, but we saw him in practice. He can shoot the ball. His, he, people, he gave up 15 points in the second half tonight by himself. I think he scored a few. I don't know what he scored in the second half. Three, four. He gave up 15. But you keep looking at what... Chris Ford says he's a really smart guy. He knows exactly who's going to get drafted. This is what parents do. Parents quote to me all the time, well, he's in the, he's in the top ten in the draft board. He's in the, well, yeah, yeah. And he's in the 14th pick in the draft. Yeah. I've talked to ten pro scouts. Not one of them thought that Chris McCullough was a first-round pick. So who he's talking to, I have no idea. And when you print that stuff, people read it. Parents read that. Quote last year, well, he's, he's, on the, he's in the top ten in the draft board. That's why he's going to go. I said, on whose draft board? ESPN? They don't have a team. They do not have a team at ESPN. That's the kind of misinformation that gets kids thinking about things and parents thinking about things that make no sense whatsoever. Except you probably seen kids be drafted. I'm 6'10", I'm playing against 6'3", guys. I should be able to get 14 points, I think. I think that should be something I can accomplish. But I, maybe I couldn't now. I probably would only get 10. Just let the kids play. Well, let them play. We, if there was any veracity in anything that those people say, it would be different. Has there been uh, many games in your career where you, you've won without making a, a three-point bucket? I don't keep track of it. I really don't know. I'm sure we've won a few with not many. I don't know if there's been none, but uh, you know, we haven't shot the ball well from the three-point line. You know, it is what it is. We have to do what we have to do to score and win, whatever that may be. And uh, when we get good looks, we're going to take them. And uh, I think we'll make some. Is the team struggles on 
on offense, does that make it more important that this team play better on defense, especially when they play the first half? Well, first of all, in the first half, Holy Cross was a pretty good team. We scored 39 points in a slowdown game, so our offense was fine. We scored more than enough on offense. We shot, uh, you know, 48% from the field and got to the foul line. So we scored more than enough. They're, whole, they're taking their time. We got 39 points, which is a pretty good number against a team that's taking that much time. That's that's fine. I mean, yeah, defense was good, but they scored points in the second half because some of it was off turnovers that we made, which we didn't make in the first half, and some of it was we made, had a couple breakdowns on the on the defensive end. We let their guards inside, and we let uh, we gave them a couple threes that we didn't give them in the first half, and they got more aggressive, you know, which is understandable. Um, but, you know, we, we just we made too many turnovers in the second half. But you can score 80 or 90 points without making a three. Without making a three. You know, we just have to be better on offense, and we have to make the shots that we can make, bottom line. But we'll, we'll, we'll make some threes. Um, you know, we just have to keep playing and keep getting better. Um, we make, you know, again, we're making mistakes – that we haven't made in a long time here. So it's something we're going to have to be get used to probably or work to try to eliminate them as much as we can. But we had a, a, a number of, of really, really smart players who understood the game and knew how to play the game for, for a long time. And we're young. We've got guys that are trying to figure out how to play the game. And uh, you know, we got Mike is a fourth-year player. He went into the trap and threw the ball away twice. I mean, we can't have him doing those things. You know, he can't play like that. We need him to play better. Caleb, you know, he's going to make some mistakes, but, you know, we need, uh, you know, Mike and Trevor and those guys to play better. Rock's playing great. He's doing a great job inside. Uh, we didn't even do a really good job of getting him the ball tonight. He had a very strong game and uh, you know Chris is doing a good job we just got to get a little bit more out of uh, somebody else for sure as we go on but this is a month that's going to be a real learning experience November and December these two months are going to be a real learning experience and we've got to we've got to go to work we, we got to go to work and try to get better and it's, 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 we've got a very, very difficult schedule, and that's okay. You know, that's what, what's how you're going to. We learned a lot in New York. We got our butts kicked, and we learned something. And you know, we got a great game coming up next week, and the next week, all those games. So, these games will help us get better. Uh, if we're able to get better, these games will help us. And. Uh, you know, we just got to play, keep playing good defense, and try to get a little better on offense as we go along here. He applied for a waiver. He got a waiver. He can play. What happened? When did that happen? Yesterday. I wanted to surprise you today. Something. Like that. Coach, uh, throughout the game, I really saw you urging the team to get down the court after rebounds. How important are the fast break opportunities to this team? Well, when you don't shoot well, it's good to get down there and get easy shots. <laughs> <laughs> well, historically, you have produced fast break offenses. Yeah. We so like to run. We try to run. We haven't been very effective at it. We are, we're, we're not really doing a good job of it. We, we got some today, but... You know, a lot of times we run off turnovers. In this first half, we got some. Second half, they didn't turn the ball over. They did a much better job on offense, and we didn't get those turnovers. Uh, but you know, we have to try to push it and get into early offense. Uh, when you're not shooting well, that's and you know, we're not going to run a lot of plays for jump shots right now. <laughs> so we're trying to get it down there and get some shots. But you know, that's that's what we have to do. Is there something you do in practice to kind of try to help the uh, the shots to maybe fall in games, or is that something you just have to wait out? Yeah, that's why we have practice, yeah. We do that every day. It's not working too good right now. <laughs> Coach, how about Michigan? Have we got a chance to watch them all this year? Yeah, Michigan's a great team. It'll be a great game. Thank you.